essentially this is an autoimmune disease. The immune system in our body, which is designed to protect us from foreign bodies and infections, mistakenly recognizes the cells of our joints as foreign and mounts an attack on these joints. What happens as a result of this is that a lot of cells and chemicals come into the joints. The influx of these cells and chemicals results in severe pain and swelling of the joint. Um, most people will come in with acutely painful, swollen joints that can be red, warm, very tender to touch, occasionally with accumulation of a large amount of fluid, which we call effusion, reduced range of motion. Now, if we leave this untreated, what it will result in is severe damage to the tendons, ligaments, and eventually the bones, which we see as erosions on x-rays. There is an, a global incidence of about 1% for inflammatory arthritis. Um, in China, you see an incidence of less than 0.3%. Um, Native Indians in North America can have an incidence of up to 5%. There is a genetic predisposition. We have identified some genes like the HLA4 major histocompatibility genes, which really are uh, very closely linked with rheumatoid arthritis. Females get it more than men with a ratio of anywhere between 4 is to 1 to 2 is to 1. Um, the peak age of incidence is between 30 to 50, although it is not uncommon for children to develop this form of arthritis, in which case we call it juvenile inflammatory arthritis. Some people have mild disease and are able to remain very, very functional. For some, it is more aggressive disease and these are patients who are even unable to get out of bed or feed themselves, dress themselves, can't drive, so it can be very debilitating. Besides the physical pain and debilitation that they experience, there is a fair amount of emotional stress, if you will, depression, which is very frequently encountered in patients with inflammatory arthritis. Now we are in an exciting new era where we are using biologic treatments which is, um, these are drugs that actually target the chemicals in the immune system which cause inflammation. You may have heard about Embrol, Remicade, Humira, and more recently, Rituxan, which are very effective, not only in reducing the symptoms of inflammatory arthritis, but also reducing inflammation and joint damage, which is very important. In patients who have severe chronic debilitating symptoms in a particular joint, and if, if the damage is so severe that there's really nothing more that we can do about it with medication, joint replacement is a good option.